All right, welcome back to the rigging bench. June new moon, the famous June new moon is here. What's your plan? Uh, I can't fish. Oh my God. For the new moon, I'm getting married next week. Yeah. And I will get in some serious trouble if I stay out late fishing. So I'm just gonna have to live vicariously through you. Ah, uh, no, I'm not fishing either because I have a uh, five day old baby at home, so. I'll have to live through the, the viewers then. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, Please go out and catch some big no fish on the new moon. And I the yeah, moon. go catch them and send them to us. Send some pics. <laughs> for this one, we've got Hunter Thayer, local surf caster fishes, uh, you know, Cape Cod Bay area, all the way up through the North Shore, you know, and consistently gets on fish, really plugs away at night. So uh, for this one, Chris, he talked about, you know, some how the season's been so far. 2023 said it's been a really good year, and he got on a really nice class of fish past couple days. So he tells us kind of tactics for, for going after them, and he gives us his lore recommendations too, which cool. is great. So let's check out what we got for the old uh, the old giveaway. Yeah, we uh, I chatted a bit with Hunter and, and uh, used some of his input to come up with these giveaways for the week. Um, so we're doing a bit of a surf casting package, some soft plastics and some hard baits. Um, we got two packs of GT eels. Um, they're uh, the 13 and a half inch plastics, uh, one in black sapphire and one in magic white. Uh, and then a third pack, uh, the shorter nine and a half inch pack in purple. Um, plurple, I'm sorry. Plurple um, with a P? Plurple. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we're also doing a couple hard baits, uh, your Joe Bag Swarter, awesome plug. Um, and the Ozuri Mag Darter uh, for smaller baits. Um, so yeah, love little it. Little package this week. Yeah. How's your surf casting season been? I know you started out strong. I haven't surf casted much. Uh, I went with my friend Robbie, who I think we're going to feature next yep. week maybe. Yeah. Um, and he got me dialed in early season. I had a good time. I uh, forced myself not to buy any new gear, even though he let me use his, his new ODM. <laughs> um, and I was drooling over it. Um, so I haven't been surf casting much, mostly hitting the boat. Uh, and uh, fly fishing uh, when I can. Yeah, yeah, I hear the surf bite is, uh, I think it's been challenging for most, you know, but those who are really plugging away have been finding like really good consistent fish. Yeah. And I know the canal was a thing a couple weeks ago, yeah. but it's kind of tapered off, so the fish seem to be, you know, spread out a little bit. Uh -huh. So it's definitely been off to an early start. Uh, we didn't have much of a winter, right? It was a pretty warm winter, so I think a lot of these fish came up here earlier. Um, I think a lot of fish didn't leave too, so we were into fish around our waters in like the last week of April, which was pretty cool. It was on a solid bite of like some decent sized class fish, schoolies and some slot fish um, for a little bit, and then as of recently we got a really big push of uh, big fish in the surf. and. We've been on that for about a week, week and a half, which has been really cool. Yeah, so a lot of structure, right? Everything when we like surf cast is structure based. We're trying to find where those fish will come in close to shore um, for like ambush opportunities on, on bait. So a lot of boulder fields um, where you get that sweep, that current going through those. And then uh, a lot of like um, estuary mouths and stuff like that where you have fresh bait you know you have the herring dumping back out of those right now and everything some bunker have been kicking around and then uh like i said the herring have been dumping out of the run so those are kicking around too and then i think there's some squid at night too um it's tough to tell but based on like the profile of what we're throwing it matches the squid so i'm thinking some squid are around tide wise um you're trying to fish around tides that are going to give like whatever area you're fishing structure right so like higher tides in boulder fields i feel hold a lot more structure for these bass to come in behind these rocks and ambush behind rocks and things like that. Um, you're definitely looking, like I said, for, for current, but um, you don't want too quick of a current. If the current's too quick, then the bait will usually get swept away too quick and those bass can't really sit there and ambush. Um, so we're trying to look for breaks in the current. So like I said before, like the rip lines, things like that, something that breaks that current to slow it down. And uh, that's where those bass are gonna be sitting. First up is that Joe Bag's uh, Swarter. Um, this is in Blurple. Blurple is a really good color that we have uh, that we use at night. Um, you know, darker presentation. Uh, this profile mimics a lot of bait fish that are around right now too. Um, you're just really looking to work these slow and controlled. A few twitches of the rod tip. These are a really good search bait because they can cover you know a little bit of uh, depth in the water column depending on how you work it they seem to be all over it as of late next up we have a uh, blurple darter this right here is a uh, super strike but 
any brand of darter will really do the same thing. Um, obviously a larger profile, uh, color-wise, you see that this is Blurple too. These give really great action. You know, it'll kind of uh, work side to side. Work these in like a slow moving current. It's gonna dig down below the surface, probably about three to five feet, um, depending on your retrieve speed. And you really just wanna like slow crawl it back. And uh, the bass have been all over these as well. And last but not least, uh, we have the 13 and a half inch GT Eel. Um, these are fantastic. Definitely a high quality soft plastic. This plastic has a lot of stretch, which is great. Uh, you can rig these a bunch of different ways too. You can rig them weightless, um, half ounce jig heads, five eighths, three quarter, um, depending on where you're fishing, how strong that current is. And uh, this right here is rigged on a uh, GT search bait jig head and it actually rattles. I think that rattle is a good addition just to give uh, some added noise for the bass to try to find, um, you know, find the lure. There are definitely big bass around. Yep, the, like, uh, like that the past week or so, um, we've seen a huge push of fish in the uh, 40 to high 40 inch range. Definitely think there's some bigger ones than that in the mix, um, but it's been a blast. They've been sticking around. Um, they've definitely been cooperative. They're definitely in migration mode, super hungry. Um, so that's been a blast at nighttime. All right, make sure you check back. Every Friday we're dropping these things. As Chris and I said, we're not fishing anytime soon, so. Yeah, well, I mean, we're, I'm gonna sneak in some trips, but there I, won't be, I won't be doing any overnight. Or <laughs> <laughs> All right, go catch them up, June new moon. Yeah. Big slob waiting for you. Hey, Scott, yeah. keep it tight. Keep it tight, Scott.